Hey there, thanks for clicking on my video. Um, my name is Noelle and this is my art channel where I um, share about my art journey. I'm a professional oil and acrylic fine artist painter. And today I wanted to share about my journey of going from really despising and kind of being stressed about making goals to now being so excited and stoked to jump into 2022 with lots of goals. And I wanted to just kind of I don't know, share my journey in hopes that it would inspire some of you if you um, were like me what, where you just didn't like making goals or just intimidating and I could just kind of share my process and I do have to say it was a really long process. Um, it took several years. Right, so just going really far back, I remember when I was younger I would have questions on interviews and different various um, questionnaire things that I would come in contact with that would ask me about what my five-year goals are, my 10-year goals are, and like current closer goals. And I was really um, dumbfounded. Like I didn't have anything, I couldn't think very clearly because I do have ADHD. So it um, inhibits the frontal cortex from like the more I try to think of an answer, the harder it is to come up with one and to think clearly. So I think that might've had a factor, but more than that, it just caused me stress thinking about like goals and because I'm one of those people that only wants to, normally wants to like try to do something only if I know I'm gonna succeed in it. So the biggest tip overall is setting small goals. So before I jump into that, I'd like to say um, it started about three years ago. So I opened my business of the light, um, which is my painting business also as well as paint parties. And I started getting um, planners. This is my planner from 2020. So this is kind of um, about two years ago, I got this planner and I um, it was just like a really good stepping point. In this, uh, two years ago, I had very little goals. I just had started with the planner and it really helped me in getting a little bit more organized. As an independent sole proprietorship with my business, um, I can really schedule my own, I do my own schedule. I, um, and it's really important to stay organized. So I don't know um, whatever your guys' schedules are like, but for me, it's really important to stay organized, but it's definitely an area that I struggle in. And I normally just follow what I feel like doing. Again, with the ADHD thing, I, I do what I feel like doing. And it doesn't always produce the outcome I was maybe hoping. And one of my biggest struggles was I felt like time is just zipping under my feet and tripping me. And it always seems like I'm behind and things come up and it's like, oh my gosh, like Christmas is here. I never knew Christmas came every year, you know, like, um, or just throughout the year. And so this year it was definitely time slipping um, under my feet. 2020 was um, just very, I mean, <laughs> everyone knows 2020 was just kind of a nightmare, but it was a starting point. And I was really glad to have that planner. With this planner, I kind of figured out what I want and what I like and um, what helps me stay organized. And jumping over to 2021 is the year we're currently in. So tomorrow is 2022. And that's kind of why I'm making this video because I want to talk about um, like my my new like idea and approach for 2022. I have this planner and I got this one. And, and again, I took more notes on what helped me, what I liked in a planner, what was useful, what wasn't, what I wish was different. A few, a few weeks ago, I was for some reason just so fed up with time just tripping me and constantly feeling behind and like I'm always doing things last minute. And I observed the older I get, time is just zipping by so quick. 2021 just flew by. And um, I just realized, you know, I really wanna take time by the reins and just posture in what I'm doing and, and even set goals for like the very first time, like solid, achievable, specific goals because before I, I would kind of start to organize my goals in my head and it was okay but a lot of times you know I wouldn't do I wouldn't officially set goals because I was afraid of not reaching them but what I did in 2021 I did one New Year's resolution one achievable New Year's resolution and I found that it grew my confidence so much so 2020, zero goals, <laughs> or no, I did, I did have goals, but um, you know, like no specific goals, no resolutions, just 
using a planner for the first time. 2021, I set my very first New Year's resolution. I used to be so um, resistant towards New Year's resolutions because I thought they were just setting people up for failure. So many times you, you know of people dropping their New Year's resolutions and not doing them. And I was, I was just, I just kind of had a like a negative view of that. But last year, something changed in, in my mind and I decided to make one resolution. It wasn't even a business one. It was just simply to remember to send people birthday cards and holiday cards and just be on top of that because I always felt bad about um, always being late about sending people's cards. I'm like, this is ridiculous. They're gonna have, you know, I should, I should know their birthday is coming up. And so I sat down and wrote all the birthdays down and all the holidays and stuff and was on top of it throughout the year. This increased my confidence so much in my ability to achieve my goals. So that was like my biggest tip is use do goals that you can actually achieve to start with and start small. Start on things that you believe just like a little bit of a stretch. This grew my confidence so much that I decided this 2022 to create my very own planner with everything that I want in a planner, everything that I took from the two different years of having planners of what I wanted, and setting goals, setting quite a few goals and really getting specific business-wise. And and also doing things a little bit pushing above what I think is possible. But if you break it down into bite-sized pieces, one thing I always thought about was when I was in college, um, it's about taking things little by little. And when you look at the syllabus, and sometimes it can be completely overwhelming because it's not even palatable, like it's so much to do. But it's all about those little bite-sized pieces. And I just, I heard somewhere recently as well that if you don't set specific goals and plans for your life, sometimes, you know, time goes by so quickly that in five years you could wake up and everything's the same. And I don't, I don't want that. I want to continue to grow and reach goals and, and it's exciting. And I don't know why I just never thought it would be so exciting and possible because I just was so unorganized in my head but so a couple weeks ago something just sparked in me and I just decided to sit down and create like this whole like planner with all of the years and like just all this all the stuff broken down and I downloaded each month a um like well I downloaded like a little calendar for the full year this is all just found online and I put it together, like how many actual scratch papers I want, and even down to the kind of artwork I want to make throughout the year. Like I want to set each month, I want to do art challenges, that I'm also going to invite anyone who wants to join. Um, so check out my Instagram if you want to participate in my month challenges. Um, I'm going to have personal paintings I'm going to do each month and try to achieve a certain body of work for a specific goal. And I also want to do bigger paintings and just kind of like move forward with all of these things. And even down to like my Instagram and social media and like the numbers of followers I have and stuff, like if you break it down into bite-sized pieces, let's like, let's say you want to grow like a certain number just divide it by the weeks of the year or the days of the year and like how many followers each day. Um, but of course with that, it's all about not just gaining followers, like they're people. So you gotta approach it not just like a number, but also being interactive and engaged and bringing content that people can enjoy. And so I really sat down and thought about like, what can I do to be consistent and be um, bringing value to people? and also just getting you know getting more on top of like my youtube videos and getting specific on like how many videos i want to do and as you can tell i'm not really giving you guys specific things because one thing i noticed with myself i don't know about you guys but sometimes it's good to kind of keep these goals and things between just yourself or maybe just the close people in your life because if you go out announcing all of your goals 
I know that for myself that sometimes shuts me down mentally. It's a kind of a mental game sometimes to really go out and do it because I don't know, it's like if you tell people you're you're gonna do this, it's almost like you get the reward that you already done it and it loses like motivation. That's kind of my hypothesis, I don't know. But that happens with paintings as well. When I tell people about what I'm gonna paint on this canvas ahead of time, it really shuts me down and I like, it's weird, like a reverse psychology, like I all of a sudden don't wanna do it anymore. So I'd recommend keeping these things like just like to yourself a little bit and I'm so excited for 2022. Um, I have like specific things in mind, even down to, you know, ways to increase my revenue and, and ways to market and all of those things in between. I'm excited and I'm so excited to have this little planner. Notice I little I put one of my paintings on in the cover. It's just a little three ring binder. And yeah, so we'll see how long, you know, we'll see how this goes. This is definitely still a trial period and seeing, seeing what, what goes, but I think the biggest thing is setting goals that I believe I can achieve as well as a few pushing myself. So yeah, I'd encourage you all to just, if you're intimidated by goals like I used to be, just give yourself something little and if you achieve it, it's going to grow your confidence. and. And I just encourage you to keep moving forward and those things that you have in mind, like those big lofty goals, take them step by step, bite-sized pieces. That's the biggest thing that I'm like going through and learning. And yeah, so yay, 2022 is gonna be good and it's gonna fly by, but if we um, put our head to it and get organized and I'm learning and we're learning together. So please like leave in the comments any ways that you found that works for you in organizing your life and maybe others can like, you know, gain from it and learn, learn together. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to subscribe and follow along. I create videos like this as well as time-lapse videos, stories behind my paintings, um, even tutorial um, art videos. And yeah, I'm just inviting you all to join along in my art journey. And I'm just so glad that you are here and I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you so much. Bye.